What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, everybody. I'm going to do a little something different. I'm not, I'm not talking about uh, MGTO for rents, even though I'm still a firm believer in it. I want to talk about uh, other things. Like, I'm going to talk about this one. I, I get invited to a lot of debates. And I have no problem debating people. But I also got to be smart. So this is going to be your little uh, video for you people to keep requesting me to debate. I'm only going to say this one time. This will be the video for you. If you don't listen, I'm not going to get mad at you because most of you don't listen anyway. I'll, I have no problem standing behind what I say. I say a lot of things. You go on Facebook, you go on YouTube, Twitter. I say a lot of things that some of y'all may not agree with. But at the same time, the difference is I don't care. I stand behind everything I say with facts. And the bottom line is a lot of you come at me with simplistic shit. You do. A lot of you are mad because... What, you, what you're trying to do isn't working, hasn't worked, won't work, and will never work. That is not my fault. Some of you have come on social media to be a bunch of beggars and try to, you know, flim flam the people, and you people see right through you. Some of you have circular logic where it's like, if one plus one equals two, then 2 plus 1 equals 3, then 3 plus 2 equals 4. This is your logic, baby. I mean, I hate to say it. This is the logic you want to come at me and get mad at me. And then half of you, when you want to debate, you really don't want to debate. Because if you wanted to debate, you would challenge what I say in your comment section. And you know you don't because half of you don't want to sh show how really stupid you are. And that's the problem with a lot of you guys. A lot of you are just, you're fooling the public. And it's not because you're ignorant. Well, some of you are ignorant. But a lot of this is like, a lot of you are just stupid. You just don't pay, you, a lot of you, and, here, and let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one of the things I've done, I pay attention to everything. I pay attention to the little stuff. It's the little stuff that'll get you. It's like they say, a little slight, it's worse than a big slight. Because a big slight is no big deal. If it's only slight you a little bit, they're trying to catch you. They're trying to see what you're going to do. But a lot of these people get up on here and want to rant and rave, want to yell and cry and whine. And a lot of them aren't really. And if you listen to their videos, they're not saying anything. All they're doing is whining and crying. And then here's, here's, here's the point that I love. They want to challenge you in their videos, but the minute you challenge them... It's crickets. They use your video to promote the BS that they're saying. Now, I don't care if you chop up what I say and use it and make me look stupid. Because at the end of the day, you're not coming over here to challenge me at all. You're coming over to challenge me so you can get a couple of views. I, I, I don't care. Don't believe, believe me, I don't care. Because a lot of you, if you knew what you were talking about, you wouldn't get all emotional. A lot of you are getting all emotional. Like a lot, a lot of things. I think, like I'll say this, and I still, I still stand by this. And it's, it, you guys are proving it. The guys are. I'm talking. I'm gonna prove this every day. A single woman cannot raise a black. A single woman can't raise a male to be a, a, a man. They can't. And uh, and, uh, and a lot of these guys will say, "Well, my mother had a boyfriend, and my mother was married." Look. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna talk about your moms like this. But if you open that door, let's be real. During the crack era, a lot of these moms were out here fucking and sucking. But we're not allowed to talk about that because what the black woman is queen. And that's another problem I have with a lot of these a lot of these slow tap Negroes, because they're putting everybody on a pedestal of king and queen. Now where else do they do that at? If you can answer me that question I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a dollar. There's no other place in the world. I don't care what you think. There's no place in the 
Anglo-Saxon world, in the Sino world, in the Arabic world, no place in the in, in the the Negro world. It's only it's only you black folks with the toe tap stuff. Oh, we're all kings and queens. No, we're not. A lot of a lot of these people are peasants, and a lot of people that are saying they're kings and queens. They're peasants trying to get you to just get money out of them. And I can prove that you're peasants. The, look, look, look at the look at your statuses on Facebook. A lot of you have the statuses, and and, and everybody else sit there and crack a smile because they know this is true, even though you're mad at me. A lot of you have the status called making money. Okay, if you're making money, why are you getting Section Eight? Why are you getting welfare? If you're making money, why are you are you borrowing money and living under some chick's roof? If you're making money. Why is it that we got to, you got to depend on me to help you out? Because you know why? You're not making money. A lot of you want to live in fairy tales, want to live in fantasy worlds, fantasy lands, and a lot of you, and that's the problem with the black community. But the black community does not want to address a lot of the certain shit that they look. They don't want to address the small shit, and it's the small shit that leads to the bigger shit. It's like it's like Rudy Giuliani with the broken windows theory. Look that up, cause I'm not gonna tell you about it because I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of doing your research for you. You do your own research. It's like Rudy Giuliani with the broken w- windows theory. Small stuff turns into big stuff, and, uh, and in the black community, you can't talk about the small stuff. You wanna why? Cause most of these, most of these, most of these parents were single mothers and didn't want to address it, and they and they had like two or three bums. They had two or three kids do worthless bums, and they don't know what the hell they're doing. And now everybody's reuniting like it's one big happy family again. Or they're just too ignorant to look this stuff up. And that's the problem in the black community. They don't want, they, look, let me give you an example. I was in a Facebook group, and they had these, chi- they had these chi- two chicks. They were half naked. The kids had to be at least three or four or five. And, I, and we were like, well, that's not appropriate. And then all these people say, well, that's appropriate. And here comes the kiss asses. A lot, and look, FYI, ladies, a lot of these guys are kissing your ass because they think you're going to hop a red out of Seattle or the, or Sacramento or Schenectady or wherever the fuck they're from. And they hope you're going to fucking suck their dick or fuck them because they're giving you a like or a smile. Look, that shit is not, that's not, that's not cool. Remember when that one pastor back in the day had his little daughter in the bathtub? Everybody and a brother put a scarlet letter on him. But the minute a woman does some shit like that, all of a sudden she's a saint. That's the problem with the black community. They don't want to address the small shit that can turn into bigger shit. Everybody's like, well, well that's your prerogative. All right, Sambo, sit down. We don't need you. We don't need your help. Go, 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 go till the fields or whatever you have to do. And let me give you another example of the black community's problem. It's just they, they hold these look. They don't hold women as they as equal. They want this this queen shit is getting old, too overboard for me. Let me give you another example. Serena Williams had a child like interracial, while why a white dude. Look, I don't care who you date. I'm just pointing out the facts of the black community. She has a kid to a white dude. I don't care because they asked about it. I don't care. But my point was that these black chicks were. If that was a black guy, you'd be all up in his ass talking about, oh, he must be soft, couldn't mess with his sister. But when it comes to Serena, or another one of these black chicks would have kids outside the race, they're all like, oh, way to go, girl, you swirled the set. And, but we can't talk about that. You want to know why? Because that would hold black women accountable, something that has never been done in our community. They have never been held accountable. You want to know why? Because you got simps making all these videos. Talking about we, you never talk about mama. Look, if your mama's a crack whore, she's a crack whore. Look, look, if, if, look. Here's where I, I come. If I, here's the age I come from. I come from the age we call you out on this shit. If, if, it's, if it's not true, it's not true. We don't talk about it. We won't. We don't call you out on the falsehood. But if you're fucking up, you're fucking up. But you know what? The problem is, look. Let me let me tell you something. There's a time when like like I wanted the, the, the discipline. My younger cousins were doing something. I said, uh, they were living with my grandma. I said, Grandma, let me handle them. I said, let me, t- let me, let me handle it. I'll, my grandmother didn't want me to handle it because she knows how I do things. But at the same time, it held them, it held them back. You want to know why? Because they didn't, weren't getting disciplined. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Black people, the majority of the black people do not want to do anything to help themselves. The majority is now, the majority of people, the majority, the majority think tank in black groups 
It's nigga logic. It is. Like, if you got common decency and common sense, you're the new nigga. So if, you, if it's like that, just don't come at me. Because trust me, I will embarrass you. So uh, have a good one and good night. Peace.